I'm Brian Butcher from the Cambridge Chamber of Commerce and today we're going to visit with one of our tastier members, Di Pietro Fresh Meats. I'm kind of excited because I'm finally going to get to go behind the meat counter and perhaps answer the calling that I was born into, that of a butcher. So let's go inside and see what's happening. I'm here with Bruno Di Pietro, president of Di Pietro's Fresh Meats. Bruno, uh, tell us a little bit about your store. Well. We came here in 1988. We started with uh, about 8,000 square feet. We expanded twice so far. <laughs> so we've grown uh, three times the size as we started originally, and we're expanding again. You are? By spring, we're going we're gonna to get another uh, 4,000 square feet added to the site. And then we're going to expand also toward the front. That's excellent. Is Di Pietro's mostly a neighborhood store, or do you draw from all over the city or all over the region? We grow, we draw from everywhere. The city, all over, it's not neighborhood. We get the neighborhood, but also the whole city, and the towns around, like Bramford, the Gulf, the Kitchener, Mississauga, they come from everywhere. And what brings them to Di Pietro's in, uh, that's special? Well, different things that we do that nobody else does, like for example, our famous sausage, they probably go all across Canada, people, <laughs> they actually do that. People go to Vancouver, they come here from Vancouver to visit, they bring them back. <laughs> or uh, Newfoundland, I send sausage to Newfoundland lots of times. So that's one of the things we do, but we do a lot of things different. Uh, we actually cut meat, yeah. we have butchers on the back that break down beef and cut hanging beef. There's not too many people that do that. We sp special cuts, you ask, we'll do it. You know, it exists, <laughs> we can do. Well, being a butcher myself, I'm going to want to go in the back and see where the meat is cut for sure. Um, but I can see you've got a tremendously long meat counter, beautiful fresh meat on display all the time. Yes, it's uh, 84 feet, but we could use a little bit more actually. <laughs> wow. They're a little bit too tight. We should have another section. We have no room right now. Hopefully in the future we can make it a little bit longer. That's great. So if you don't come to Di Pietro's for the, for the great grocery selection, you come for the fabulous meat. And if you don't come just for the meat, come for the sausage. It's very special. Okay, Bruno, so this is where all the real work is done, is it? That's right. So all the meat is prepared back here fresh for the customers? Yes. Do you think maybe I could uh, try doing a little trimming there? I don't know. It looked like a butcher to me, but yeah. I, I've, I've been a butcher my whole life. I've been training for this for a long, long time. We let you try. Okay, well, let's give it a try. All right, let me find you a sharp knife. So you have to take this fat out, you know, clean it up nice. Take the silver skin up. Is there anything? dark around, you trim it, then you have to leave this to a quarter of an inch of fat around, you know, Go like this. So you got to leave a little fat on there. A little bit of fat, yeah, not much. And if it looks like this, it's ready to go. All right, I think I can do that. Let's give it a try. Easy, easy now. You gotta watch your fingers. <laughs> okay, so I guess uh, I guess I kind of failed at that. Uh, not exactly. Just you know, a little practice. Yeah. Well, it looks like you've had a little more practice than me. Well, thank you, Bruno. I appreciate you making me feel so welcome today and giving me a tour of the store. It's been great. You're welcome. <laughs>